and give the clap unto the Lord. Unto the Lord, thanking God for the women, for the children. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Before you sit down, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. Thank you for such a day as this. Thank you for keeping us, for preserving us to see this time. Lord, as we continue, continue with us. For all the blessings that you have rained down already, none will depart from us in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the more that you have to release unto us, Father, we stand and we say we receive in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for your cover over us all. Thank you for your cover upon me as well. Thank you for your mark upon my tongue as well. Lord, let the word come with power in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please be seated in his presence. Hallelujah. What a glorious time indeed. I'm sure you will agree with me that so far it's been great. God has been good to us. And I want to thank all those who have gone on ahead of me. In fact, the sermon has been preached. Do you agree? The sermon has been preached. The children have spoken. The women have come up. And the drama will return all the glory to God. So my job is made really easy. I'm only coming with two points. And when I finish with the two points, I'll go and sit down. Amen. My Bible verse is not a departure from our verse. And it's from Psalm 71, verse 21. Psalm 71 and verse 21. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. So maybe when I read it first, you were just getting into the verse. So I will read it again. And if you believe, stamp it with an amen. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I am going back to the beginning of the year. Many of us, if not all, we were here. And even if we were not here, you would have heard that our anchor for the year is... Does anybody remember? What is our promise, our anchor for the year? The year of my greatness. Say it to yourself. It's the year of my. The year of my. And so when we're coming here, it's Mother's Day today. I'll be directing most of the things that I'm saying to women as we are celebrating our mothers. But at the same time, men, please take your portion out of it. There's some, some word came for us at the beginning of the year. And it was telling us that our greatness, because God has promised it, and you've heard it as we've been singing it. It's a promise. And he said he will increase our greatness. The word that came is that this year, God will cause things to converge for us to walk towards our greatness. Can you remember that? He said he will cause things, he will cause forces to come into action to walk towards our greatness. And then I wrote something in capital letters. I went back to my notes. And it says, don't walk away from it. Can anybody remember that? Don't walk away from your greatness. Don't walk away from all the things that are working together for our good. Can you remember that Bible verse that says, he will cause lines to fall for us in pleasant places. But my, my sisters, let me start with the women. My sisters, there's leg work. <laughs> there's work that needs to be done. For those of us who have been at workers' meetings, you would have heard us sharing about all the things that we need to do to walk towards this greatness. Indeed, this year is the year of my greatness. You can say it to yourself too. It's the year of your greatness and you will get into it in the name of the Lord Jesus. As such... I have come with this title. Step out and step up. Step out and step up. And those are my two points. Where are you stepping out from? 
I, I pick, pick, picked my pad again when I heard the choir singing that song. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. I heard the choir singing, step out from shame. Is there anything that has caused us to be ashamed this year as you are stepping into your greatness? Propose in yourself that you are stepping out. You are stepping away from shame. You are stepping away from ignominy. You know, I, as I was writing my notes, I was saying to myself, you know, many of us, when we relocate from one place to another, because things are not exactly how you wanted them to be, because it's, that's such life. It's not always perfect when you first get there. And then people are calling you. Uh, phone calls, you reject the calls. In fact, sometimes you block the number. But I'm saying to us today, anything that can cause us to be ashamed, anything that can bring about ignominy, today, step out of it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Another point I have for us that you are stepping out from, you can fill in the blanks of the many things that you want to step out from. But another one is to step out from fear. And so the promise came. The promise is here. It's the year of my greatness. And then you probably doubt maybe it's for other people. Or maybe you even limit your own level of greatness. You know, sometimes we can write, this is how far I want to be great. But take the limit off you. I like the young ones that call themselves limitless. Let there be no boundaries. Enlarge your course. So break away, step out from fear. Step out from things that can hinder us. And one big one that I wrote here is sin can hinder us. Sin can hinder us from getting to our greatness. Because if God says it's the year of our greatness, and then he's going to help us, if we abide in sin, God is going to turn his face away from us. Remember the verse that says, God is not deaf, but he cannot hear us. His ears are not heavy. The only thing that has separated us from God is sin. So my sisters, but I'll also say to us all, our men, every one of us, let's step out, step away from sin because it can hinder us from entering into our greatness. Another thing that can hinder us, that you want to step away from, Forget about the past. The reality is that the past is done. You can't undo it. But don't let your past hinder your future, your present, I mean, and your future. Step away from it. And I came up with a, a, a Bible verse. I was thinking of that woman in the Bible. Who, it's in Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7. From verses 36 to 50, we're not going to read it, but I want to bring it up. And you know, she heard that Jesus was in the city. And then she came. All other people were gathered around. Maybe the saints were gathered around. But this woman came, the sinner. But she did not allow that to hinder her. Remember what she did? She even stepped out. She stepped away. She came with her alabaster of oil. You know, I was thinking about that verse again. She came with her perfume. Strongest smelling perfume. Some of you women and even men. I know, I know of men. Uh, the perfume, how strong it can smell. They walk past you, you know. And you begin to walk out. Which perfume is that? Ladies, you know that. Mm -hmm. So she came. I, I thought to myself, this woman, she could have, if you like, snuck up to him. And ministered to him. But the alabaster, you will know she's been there. You will know she came around. You know what that meant? She stepped out. She stepped away. Never mind. You will notice me because of this perfume. My sisters, please do not be held back. I'm not saying throw yourself out there. But what I'm saying is break away from anything that can be holding you down. Let me add one more. Break away from your comfort zone. 
Standing here today is not my comfort zone. You know that. I'll be doing something else. I'll be directing them. You go up now. Come down now. I'll do that behind the scenes. But step out from your comfort zone. I don't know what your comfort zone is. But if you are aiming for greatness, you need to break away and say, I'm going to take that step of faith. In workers' meeting today, we're talking about faith. Step out. And I have a quote here. Becoming is better than being. I'll just, let, I've heard women say, just let me be. I don't, I don't, it's not a common phrase to me, but I've heard it. Just let it be. And I'm saying to us today, please step out. Aim at becoming rather than being. I'm just okay the way I am. If you want to be great, we need to step out and push on. And my second point is after you have stepped out. In fact, initially, I was because our theme is stepping into greatness. But I thought to myself, actually, let's take it further. Rather than just step in, step up. Thank you, ma. Rather than just step in, step up. Amen. How many women are in the house? It looks like there are only three or two. <laughs> Hallelujah. The word is for us today and for the men too, but let us step up. What do we need to do when we are stepping up? We want to step up into greatness. What do we need to do? I have a few points there. But first and foremost, like has been shared in some of our clips there, first and foremost is your relationship with God. Now, if God is the one promising, taking us into our greatness, and is handing out greatness as it were, if you turn up to collect greatness, God forbid that he will say, and who are you? What's your name? Where are you coming from? But all that it will be, that when we turn up to collect our greatness, he will be handing it over to us and he knows us by name. May that be our portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. We sang it over and over again. It's been shared amongst us week after week. In fact, this month is our month of help. We need the help of God to step into our greatness. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And as the choir was singing, I heard of a verse here, Psalm 18. Maybe we should actually read that one. Psalm 18, verse 35. Psalm 18, verse 35. And it says there, You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand has helped me. Your gentleness has made me great. But did you note there, all the things that he handed to us just as the choir was singing there, his right hand is there to help us. Lean on God. I don't need to go over previous sermons. The help of man or the arm of flesh will fail. We need to depend on the Lord to lift us higher. So that's the first one in our relationship with the Lord. We are growing to be like Christ. Christ is the example that has been set for us. Not that I have counted myself to have attained or already perfected, but I press on. Or dare I say, but I step up until we get to what the Lord has prepared for us. I'm paraphrasing from Philippians 3 and verse 12. Women, what then? What else can we do? There are some weapons that have been given into the hands of women. Well, everybody, but women, we know how to deploy these weapons. These emanations of prayer. Women, let us pray. For those women in the house, you will know that one of the things that we are kind of working on this year is we're holding prayer high up this year. We've even talked about um, our prayer pop-ups, our prayer meetings, our night vigils. Please join us when we put the calls out for us. But let us pray. 
is a weapon that has been given into our hands. There's a weapon of praise, and I think we're quite good at doing that. But apart from doing that publicly, Sister Grace came up and was talking about, you know, um, her prayer life being revived, her praise being revived. Women, let's go back even to our secret places. It's easy to do it out here. But use that weapon also in your private place. And that applies to me as well. Let me quickly go to the next one on that step up. It's to step up in your relationship with people. Yes, we have God as our main helper. But also there are people around us. We've talked about people helping us but also be a help to somebody else. You might notice something about someone. There might be an area where you can help. Please help. But the main thing is have relationships with people. Oyinye was talking here. No man is an island. You cannot do it yourself. You need somebody else. I think she was talking about, you need somebody else to hold your hand. You need to hold somebody else's hand for us to help ourselves towards our greatness. And the Lord will help us in the name of the Lord Jesus. There was a, there, there's a, 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 a small joke here. For those of us who are um, married in our homes, please ask for help. Uh, I know, you know, the other person will help us. But ask. I've heard of situations where the woman is saying, you know, I'm so tired. I can't do it myself. You know, I've got the children. Or even if it's just, there's so much to do. And I always say, ask for help. Ask the other person at home. Usually they would help. I believe so. So ask. Even if you ask for so much and they can only give a little, say thank you. It is in the course of that. In fact, I have a secret. Shall I share my secret with you? And so my secret is, I think I'm learning how to say thank you. When we were growing up, it's something that was always shared with us is, and it's an adage or a saying where I come from. And they say, the child that knows to say thank you, you will get more. And so for every little thing, and they're not little, but for everything my husband does for me, I say thank you. I sing thank you. I shout thank you. So, never a little one, um, surprise that when I get home the next day, something else is waiting for me. Or maybe I'm home first and something else is coming to me. Hallelujah. Learn to say thank you. Thank you, sir. So that something else will be waiting for me when we finish from here. But learn to say thank you. Bre or bre, bre brothers, bros. Please help us. Help us at home, even if you don't ask. That is for the brothers that are at home. But even for those, before you go into your homes, ah, let's learn to help other people. Then it's easy to do when you get into your own home. But that's just on a, on a light note. I want to talk about Esther. Esther, in fact, when I was coming, originally, I was coming with a character study. And the woman I was bringing to you is Esther. I can't go into the whole story of Esther now, but I'll say a little bit about Esther and how Esther stepped out. Paraventure, she was called for such a time as this. You know, when you're going into your greatness, greatness or any other thing of value does not just drop into your laps. Do you know that? It doesn't just drop into your laps. You walk towards it. And that's why we're sharing some of these points. But another thing is be prepared for greatness. How are you preparing for greatness? Esther was prepared. She was prepared by her uncle. And it's just so tied together with that drama. Did you pick the, 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 the nuggets in that drama? That child her outcome or her later life could have been different. But somebody decided to step out, step up to help. From that story, she had to travel to go and get that child. 
she raised that child. And even when things did not seem to be going right, she continued in the place of prayer. Women, let us pray. You know, look at your own children. You might say there are some times in some areas that things are not always going right, but don't give up. Continue to pray. And the God of greatness, who has promised us greatness, our children too will be great in the name of the Lord Jesus. I was saying something there about prepare our children too for greatness. You know, when I talk about parenting, which I think is one area I feel quite comfortable with, because I'm learning a lot in the area of parenting. I know that good children don't just happen. And so great children don't just happen. We have to train our children. We have to prepare our children for greatness. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let me, as I am rounding up, just say a few things about us as well. As I hone in, on women. As part of our own preparation, you might say there are easy things, there are right things, but let me say to us, anyone who is aspiring or walking towards greatness is not flippant. You don't just talk anyhow. You know, when words come, they're like eggs, isn't it? And you drop it and it's broken. You cannot scoop up again and say, I didn't say that. Be very careful with your words when your words come. There's another thing I want to say. Let's know how we carry ourselves. Courage matters. You know, many at times, and when I'm saying this, I'm saying this to our young ones, I'm saying it to our children, and let's begin to imbibe all of this into our children as well. How we carry ourselves. You are going on the street, you are in school, you are at work, you come to church, wherever. Carry yourselves with dignity. And I'm not talking pride here, but I'm saying to us, carry yourselves with dignity. It is, it's a common saying. That is the way you are dressed, that you will be, oh, so you know it. The way you dress is the way that you'll be addressed. I went somewhere the other day, just a couple of days ago, I think it was Friday, and I stepped in, you know, it was an appointment, and I was telling my husband, I said, the, the, the reception I got from that person, and my husband dropped it there, and it's about courage as well. If you go into a meeting or into an appointment or anything, in a sloppy manner, that is how you'll be addressed. And so I'm speaking to the women today. As you are minding the words of your mouth, take care of your appearance as well. Take care of how you carry yourself and you are being prepared for greatness. I think I've got one more point and then we will rise up to pray. While you are doing all that, mind your associations. Who are you associating with? Come on, saying, show me your friend. And I'll tell you who you are. If you are aiming for greatness, flow with people who have the same view. Flow with people, not, oh, um, Dick and Val was telling us a story once in the Wednesday Bible study, I believe. And he was talking about when they were growing up and some associations. And this person was quite content to sit on a spot and just enjoy life at that point in time. While others were working to be great and moving on. Roll back so many years, the person is still on the same spot and then is looking at those people who have aspired and they've moved on. Don't be that person that you're still on the same spot. Move ahead. Step out, step up. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I will stop there, actually, because I want us to pray. Because I've got only two, three minutes left. We're going to rise up to pray. It's not just about women. The message is for the women, but for us all. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Remember, our theme is about stepping into greatness. And that's from our theme for the year 
it's the year of my greatness. You can say it to yourself, but it's the year of my greatness. And as I want to step into that greatness, we're going to pray. We are hearing so much. Much more will come, but we're going to pray. Lord, please take me to the next level. Go ahead and pray. As you're thanking God that something has been dropped into your spirit there. Your next prayer is, God, please take me to the next level. I don't want it to be that people who left Aberdeen last year, they will come back this year if I'm still in Aberdeen and I'll be on the same spot. Pray, God, please take me to the next level. Help me to step out of the closet of shame, the closet of fear, the closet of ignominy. Help me to move to the next level, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, according to your word, increase my greatness, Lord. According to your word, increase my greatness. And according to your promise, let all forces converge to walk towards my greatness. In the name of Jesus. Take a moment to say thank you, Lord. Say to yourself, Lord, by your help, I am stepping out. By your help, I am stepping up and I will not remain at the same level. And so shall it be. And so precious, Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, our Father and our God, for indeed you've been good to us. Indeed you have been kind unto us. You have released so much unto us. Again, we are encouraged by your help, O oh God. We are stepping into this greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus. All that it takes to step out and to step up, Lord, you release unto us this day in Jesus' name. Thank you, our precious Father. We return all the glory and honor unto you. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.